Welcome to Fearless Friday. So check it out. There used to be a time when I would take a girl being cold, looking into her phone, looking away as rejection. Because to me, in my body, it felt like she didn't want to be there. And so to me, what it felt like the right thing to do was, was to let her go because I was bothering her. Now, I see a lot of guys do this when they're out and we're out approaching. They'll have an interaction, maybe it'll last a couple minutes, a couple seconds, and I'll, they'll come back and I'll be like, cool, what happened with that girl? I'll be like, oh, she wasn't giving me much. She wasn't saying anything. She, you know, she was going into her phone. And so I just let her go. And it always reminds me of when I had the realization that these girls are nervous and girls actually get nervous. Not even that they get nervous, but you made them nervous. Like how interesting of a concept is that to believe, especially if you're a guy who's out there having difficulty getting girls, right? You're actually making women nervous because you're approaching them and maybe they don't get approached by a lot of guys, right? And so the way that they handle this is sometimes they go into their phones, they dart left and right as you're talking to them, awkward silences. And so again, us as nice guys or recovering nice guys or guys who are getting better at approaching, what do we do? We go right into our head because we're like, this is weird. I don't know how to handle this. What the fuck is going on? And what that does is it causes us to self reject when in fact, what you really need to be doing is giving her space and time to open up on her own. So again, what's our natural, what's our natural inclination as men? We close up, we go into our heads, we self eject because we don't realize that she's nervous and we don't realize that if we just keep talking and don't shut down that heart, don't shut down our energy, don't shrink, don't get small, that she herself is going to open up too because she actually wants to be at the higher energy level that you're at or that confidence level that you're at. She wants to feel that. So if you guys find yourself in this situation with a girl, just keep talking, but also notice that there's a party that keeps shrinking or wanting to get small or wanting to run away from the interaction or it's feeling rejected and want to get out of there. The minute you do that, you self eject. So some ways that you could actually do this effectively is call out the elephant in the room. That's one thing I don't see guys doing enough. It's if a girl is going into her phone, she's darting away, she's still there, call it out. Be like, you uh, you seem a little distant. What's going on, you having, a, you having a good day? You having a bad day? If you know that she's nervous, just call it out. You're nervous, huh? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I, didn't, I, know, I know this is weird. I, I'm just a stranger, but um, tell me more about you. It doesn't seem like you talk that much, right? Or you can say something to the effect that you don't, you don't speak a whole lot, do you? Like, you're introverted, aren't you? Some tells you that you're an introvert. And when you do that, what you do is you, you don't make her wrong for feeling nervous. You actually give her space to open up and speak and communicate with you now because she feels safer to do so because you're not going to come at her. You're not going to take it as rejection. You're going to be like, okay, cool. Let me figure out what's going on with this girl. Let me talk to her just a little bit more. And in that, you get a different version of this girl. I've seen this many, 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 many times happen in my interactions where I would normally self eject years ago. I can literally pinpoint the precise point in interactions nowadays where I used to I used to just be like, yo, cool. Hey, it was good meeting you. Um, I'll let you go. Great talking to you. And I'll just self-eject. Now, the more I do it, I start to see, I'm like, oh, girls open up. They want to be opened up. You just got to help them out with their nervousness because they're like guys, right? We get nervous too. We don't know what to do. We get nervous. We go into our heads. Girls are a little bit more feminine, emotional. And so they have a hard time really hiding their feelings in a weird way. So like she might go into her phone or she might do things like physically that indicate that she's uncomfortable. But when the truth is she's probably just nervous and that she needs you to remain confident and open and not take it as rejection. Because trust me, they don't want to be closed off. They want to feel your masculine power. They want to feel your confidence. So when you guys are going out there and you guys are getting these interactions, stop rejecting, stop self ejecting way too soon and have it out. The cool part about this is that it's tension and it'll give you a chance to really play with the tension of holding the girl there until she opens up. You can even have fun with it. You can call it out. But I can see you opening it up a little bit. Okay, you're starting to talk a little more. You're starting to be a little bit more open. You know, watch her smile and giggle about it because you're calling her out on the shit that she's holding inside. You're putting it out on the table. That's a very masculine, confident trait because you're calling out the elephant in the room that nobody else will call out. So anyways, as you guys go out there this week, today, tomorrow, 
and you find yourself in these kind of interactions, and you will, don't freak out. Just ground your legs, stay in the interaction, let it go as far as it needs to go, because you guys really need to see what's on the other side of that so that when you guys get in these situations in the future, you guys won't eject and you guys will start to get the results from the girls that you want, which is numbers, dates, something intimate, whatever it is you're looking for, but stay in there long enough so you can, so you can realize what's on the other side of it. So I'm, I'm coming to you guys from the other side of it, okay? So anyways, guys, write in the comments below if this video helps you, if you actually got into an interaction with a girl who was like that and you saw the success that was on the other side of it when you opened her up, or if you saw her start to relax and open up and lean in more, so the other guys can also see that in the comments and realize that it's okay to keep pushing and keep talking and keep chatting, okay? Hit the like and subscribe button so you can get these videos every Friday. Uh, we love teaching you what we know, um, especially me. I really love being out there and approaching. It's, it's one of my favorite things to do because, again, it develops your social skill, it makes you better at socializing with people. It really helps you confront your demons about your ability to socialize with women because we all know women are a little bit extra tension than talking to men. Hope you guys are out there killing it. Remember, only the confident truly live. Peace.